Recently I found out that David Ward of Ocean had died. Uh, it's a few months ago now. You want to go out, buddy? Is that a yes or a no? I don't speak cat language. So, I'm going to be playing some uh, classic early ocean games. I had Gilligan's Gold, I had Mr. Wimpy, I had Transformers, I had Chinese Juggler, I had Hunchback 2, and I had Hunchback. I may have had other early ocean games. I had uh, Imagine's uh, World Series Baseball, which was pretty much complete in the Imagine offices before they went bankrupt. You can see it in uh, the high quality version of that um, commercial breaks, uh, the Battle for Santa software, which I will watch a bit later actually. But yeah, who can forget the, uh, you know, the iconic, infamous uh, quote on camera where David Ward says, "It's not, it's not Commodore Standard anymore," or it's not. Yeah, that's what he says. <clears throat> Meaning, uh, you know, it's the same as last year, and uh, things have to move on and improve. Nah, I don't know about Daily Thompson's decathlon. It's not that long ago I've done that. Gilligan cold. Start off with Chinese juggler. It's a classic, sir. <clears throat> I should really have just uh, put all the uh, PRG files uh, in the uh, root directory of the... Uh, SD card. Still haven't found that two gigabyte SD card. It's probably under the floorboard somewhere. What's that coming out on camera? Because the last time I recorded this, I recorded the uh, SX64 screen. Oh yeah, I never noticed that. F3 record your game. And then. Well, there's no white one there. I think you have to go on the side, do not it? You have to get all the plates up there, innit? Don't think that's speeding it up. Yeah, see that's gonna fall down now. Okay. It's a bit fiddly on the controls. It's not a Commodore standard anymore, there you go. It's quite important to be able to do that. Ah, come on mate. Twee jolly music, oh actually. Controls are a bit iffy on this game, I must admit. Not good, sir. What happened there then? Did one of them fall off? Oh, there's a time limit. Oh, okay. Okay, it says record your game, but how'd you play it back then? Is it going to show what I did on the demo there? Nah, this isn't me. <clears throat> I, I went to that one first. I, I don't know, that's weird. Hey, don't jump on me, you've got big claws. What's the matter, buddy? Hmm? He's bored, actually. Ain't we all, buddy?
Yeah, there is a time limit as well, so... Speeding up, you bastard. See, I'm wasting time trying to get these bloody things to... Screens will never change. It's a fun game of skill, but playing this with a point master joystick would have been hell sir. Help! Why does it keep doing that? Oh, it tells you which one you need. Alright, okay. There is no white ones. What am I supposed to do? How do I get a white one then? Okay, I don't know how to play it anymore now. Yeah, it's not giving me a white one. Okay, so I've done as much of the game as I feel like doing. Right, is that how you change it? To ask you for a different colour? Or do you have to wait? clamshell on this one. Interesting actually. More strategies. Ah, no, it's a purple now. Crap. So it's interesting, really. Hmm. Oh, that's 
do the ones right at the top, I think. Okay, he's not asking me for a specific one now, so okay. Good, good. Magikyo, Mr. Magikyo, I don't know where that's from. Right, I'm going to see what happens when the uh, when the plate falls. Oh, actually, you have to have the right plate. Oh shit! Okay, this is not working well. This waste time. So it's alternating here. Stop throwing the bloody thing. There's no dog here, mate. Give me a bloody yellow one, you but ah, oh, fuck off. Mate. Right, okay. I said I wanted to see what happens if you uh, don't keep the plate split spinning. There we go. So there's a yellow one here. Yeah. I'm talking about the plates, so I'm not being racist. Oh, okay. The plates are actually done quite nice, the way they animate. It's better than the uh, arms rotating around Daily Thompson in Daily Thompson's Decathlon. Where's my cat gone? Under the chair, buddy, that's a bit risky. Although this chair is a bit better, actually. So these are high res, and these are like multi color mode. Yeah, it could do with a nice update, actually, but anyway. Wow, the plates last a long time. <laughs> They're anti-gravity, well, almost anti-gravity. I thought you'd lose a life if a plate falls off. All oh, right. Well, you're still fucked. Because there's no yellow plates here and the time's running out. Okay. That's actually not a bad game. Right, what can we play next? Yeah, it's funny, I, I tried to look up, you know, what David Ward uh, was up to uh, for ages and there was nothing, nothing, nothing. And then one day, I just found out he was dead. It's really weird. So, uh, it's, uh, I think it was early May. So it's about three months ago, actually. Mm, here we go. Let's have a bit of Mr. Wimpy. Should really be playing these without the lights on. And obviously on the uh, on the 1702 monitor, which I fucking hate. It's a shit monitor. Although. 
one of my 1902s, they don't, they don't generate a colour picture. Doesn't matter what machine you plug into them. <clears throat> Obviously, with the correct S video cables, which I've got two or three of. So he, he won't be using any cheats, sir. Uh, Space to start game. Enterprise was a computer. I can't remember who made it though. I didn't know anything like a Star Trek -y as the uh, Thompson M07, which looks very similar to the Amiga 600 actually, without a disk drive built in, obviously. Ah, the old classic. She's early gaming, mate. Early gaming. Just a matter of avoiding him while you've got the ingredients. I see he'll, he'll take the tray as well. And there is a time limit as well. And he sort of moves about like a, a blip on a Pong console, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the only bit that isn't anything like Burger Time. So they did this on purpose. I, I don't think they'd really have got away with it. I, I just think the people who did the uh, Burger Time arcade. Do, 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 do. Classic delicate tunes of the Sig there, sir. How many peppers? Oh, let me see. Oh, sir. It's very harsh on the old collision detection, the Runeo. But it's fine because it's obviously using uh, the hardware collision detection. Yeah, I like making them do the uh, the full, you know, four sections of the music. I do fancy a cheeseburger, but uh, Burger King is a close edge right now, actually. So the sausage is getting fucked every time, actually. If he's going to end up down there every time. Best to let him come up here and uh, go down the level, right? Okay. Okay, they're both chasing me. Good, good. So one's a cheese. We were two of cheeseburgers. This one's the regular burger with lettuce. I presume that is, rather than green snottykins. Ah, shit! I didn't want to go this way. There you go. You don't get more pepper, I think that's the problem with this game that I didn't like. Hey! Ah, oh, god damn it. Yeah, the, the pepper is limited on this game. Little sachets of, uh, you know, black pepper powder. Now that coarse ground shit actually that has a completely different flavour, pretty much. Although if you're one of these people who can't tell the difference between fucking chicken breast and turkey breast, then uh, well, you know. I'm always conscious of the bloody uh, pepper not refilling. Nah, oh, no, man. It's my last life, innit? And we've got no more pepper left. We've got no more lives left, isn't it? So the funny thing is, uh, I can do the first section uh, 
all the time actually. Uh, I don't know. Um, well, then again, I am using a zip stick, and I was using like a point master joystick. So <laughs> it does look very type in sort of thing, but uh, it's actually it's not a bad game. Like I said, Burger Time, like some early, well, well, most early arcade games, don't really have that much longevity into it. Uh, however, like uh, Pac-Man, which people seem to love for some reason, they seem to forget the fact that uh, most people got very bored with Pac-Man. Most people born with their genitals on the outside. It doesn't mean they wanted them that way. Yeah, let's not go into that discussion. Right? Don't hijack my tribute video. Thank you. Wow, well, I haven't, I haven't loaded up Transformers for ages. Let's do Transformers Plus, whatever that means. Maybe the plus means the picture is included. I can't see the block sizes on this uh, file browser. Yeah, so the next time I do something like this, it's probably better to uh, put all the PRGs in the root directory. Uh, especially if I had a reset cartridge, I really need to sort one of them out. Uh, it's gone ominously quiet, so uh, what is my cat doing? He's not on the bed sleeping. How old is he now? He is six and a half years old. Yeah, that's right. Because Amy is eight years old. So, him and his sister are six and a half. And Penny is five and a half. And the other terrible, terrible one and his uh, brother and sister are four and a half. Okay, well, all the lights have gone off, so... That looks weird. Okay, this this shouldn't be blue. It's probably blue because uh, I've got a very old kernel wrong. Green black. Okay, right. I thought it was saying weird to do the old kernel wrong, but it's an early game, so. Oh yes, I forgot. You, these are not stairs or anything, by the way. So I've just wasted a transformer to do that shit. You can't touch any part of the. Uh, uh, if you thought Airwolf was bad. This is uh, this is like Airwolf on the Amstrad CPC. This is a terrible game. I never liked the way this game played. So you can't touch any of the uh, floors from any side. But you can shoot stuff. So to like get to a new level, you have to actually like. There you go. You have to be very careful with this shit. Ah, see? It's a frustrating game, actually. I mean, games like this is where the myth that... Uh, well, I don't know if you'd call it a myth, but... You know, the idea that licensed games were mostly rubbish games with a license. I don't... 
I lose so many lives, I, it doesn't even matter that I don't know what you've got to do. <laughs> See? Yeah, you can go there, but uh, this is where I was before, actually, so. Gotta be very careful with this shit. So, the play area is quite large, but you can crash into stuff and. Uh, yeah, I'm sure in the original Carter. See, now when you're going down, it's like, well, you've got to be careful because sometimes you touch the edge of the platform and run out of firepower. I think. I, I don't know. You press space? No. There is something you, you can do, I think. Yeah, it might not be actually. Only got one transformer left, so it don't really go the uh, you know the cartoon. The fact that uh, you know, ooh, you, you you touch the edge of the pavement or whatever, and you die instantly. Well, what is this fucking? Yeah, actually, what is that? What is that? Uh, I think it's a black and white film. Ah, American History X. That's it. Where he cracks his head on the uh, edge of the uh, curb. Ooh, that's brutal, that is. Brutal! Maybe you can only gain your, like, uh, little podule. So, uh, you know, I don't really know what you've got to do on this game, but uh, it's very tricky to play. The graphics are not actually that interesting, so I've got no firepower left, shields are duff. End the madness. Yeah, Denton designs. It's not actually ocean in house. that then. My battery warning is flashing so I need to get a new battery for this camera actually. And a new uh, retro gaming mojo. I need to order one of them from Amazon as well. Then maybe we could make loads more videos for YouTube. But I need both. Just the uh, camera batteries not enough. Here we go. So play I don't want to play Gilligan's Goal. No, hunchback it is, mate. Hunchback it is, isn't it? Hunchback. Honcho back. They could do like a Mexican version. Yeah, I don't think that is racist. But uh, just in case, I'm only joking. <laughs> Hunchback is uh, one of the earliest games I had on the old uh, Condom 64, I must admit. Please go away. We ain't got time for this shit. Uh, high score, uh, reset, thank you. I don't want to see your rubbish high scores. I don't know if it's... Uh, oh, right, here we go. J. Okay. Joystick is in port 2, I believe. Or is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Hopefully, it doesn't do that every time, but I might do. That's a very early ocean game, and probably one of their best early games, and it's official license. <laughs> hey. I am ready, mate. Ooh. really get a chance to show you the uh, awesome jump controls yet. Look at these jump controls, better than uh, Gianna sisters, mate. Oh man! 
I thought I was going to miss it getting on the rope, but getting off the rope is just as much of a problem, I think. Oof. I don't know why I didn't do it last time then. Feels the same. to go right to the edge of the pixels there. It's very tight actually. All the old yellow. I think there's an arrow that comes behind me or something. Ooh. No, this one. No. Yeah, on one of them you do get an arrow that pops up behind you. Apparently Hunchback 2 is uh, this bit of the arcade game, so... Ooh, that's close. Super bonuses are coming, sir. So coming for you! I think this is the one where you've got to jump straight away, actually. There you go. The memories! So you can, like, move left and right while you're jumping. <laughs> Obviously, the super bonus resets every time you lose a life. Otherwise, I would have got it a sheet earlier. Sheet is not sheet. It's a brilliant game. So someone should really write a game that has both Hunchback 1 and 2 together in a single load. I'm going to check out the arcade long play now. Ooh, I was lucky I didn't know which way he was going to come next. Usually they alternate. Ooh, the, <coughs> the bells! That's how you do it, you've got to get on the bells and then jump at the right time. Right, okay. The dulcet tones of the uh, SID chip. I wonder if the Spectrum version has those little like, you go. I don't know, I can't do higher. Higher frequency farts. They hurt my lips, both are oh, shit, so don't know that one, alright, okay. Ah oh, no, what's going on? How am I supposed to know which one it is? That's a real cunt when they used to do that. Ooh, that was so so whatever it was, it was so that. sure about that one actually they're a bit fucking uh, eager aren't they ooh bloody hell pixel pixel perfect there yeah. by fluke they're right, getting quite far I've never seen what happens at the end so I might check out ah come on you have to know these things isn't it ah see even if you run away from it you ain't got enough time and if you jump when there's one above you, see, I would have jumped, except the last time that happened, uh, an arrow came from above, and it, you know, I lost a life there. So, obviously, it's me. Who else talks like this, mate? But, uh, yeah, the camera battery has been flashing, so I don't know how far we'll get into Hunchback 2. Mm. 
I'm not even wasting time doing the roll up now. The camera battery is just uh, hanging on by a few electrons. So. Back to yeah, that do okay. That didn't work. The uh, SD to IC uh, thing is just flashing now. There you go. Let's uh, do that again. Yeah, this is why, why is the uh, SD card not working anymore? Okay, well, he's not erroring there. That's really weird, that is. Uh, maybe the uh, file browser has got corrupted. I don't know what the other one is then, this one seems to be working. Yeah, I don't think the uh, camera battery is going to last. This always happens when I play Hunchback 2. Save the best till last, but the camera battery is not as his best, so you don't get to see the last one, or much of it. So I might just load it up and uh, charge up the uh, camera a bit, and come back to it, and I'll... I'd, I'd, there's no point playing Gilligan's Gold. I didn't buy that as an original game. Came free with uh, Soft Aid, I believe it was. Yeah, there's not many people left uh, from back then. Russell D. Blick is dead. Ben Dalgleish is dead. Jack Trammell is dead. Clive Sinclair is dead. Uh, David Ward is dead. No, I don't want to see that. You zoomed it enough there, Mad Commodore. Yeah, so uh, that was interesting because I did check out the uh, long play of uh, Hunchback the Arcade and uh, they always said Hunchback 2 is like the last levels of the arcade but only the first screen of Hunchback 2 is the last screen of the arcade and then they've made up the rest <laughs> what happened to Ikari then or Ikari yeah, rubbish loading screen. Uh, yeah. Let's go have high score and reset. Diddy, 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 diddy. start. Okay, maybe it is joystick port. He is. He's a joystick apartment one. Apartamento uno. Okay, it's a bit fucked then really. This bastard keeps following me. Go away. Get over there in it. So I'm wasting time. So I could have taken a leaf out of Matthew Smith's book there. So this is actually the last screen on uh Hunchback the Arcade, so there's that. When you do this actual screen that's it, the, the game is over. So I've made up the rest of it. I don't know why they couldn't fit all of uh, Hunchback into the enormous Elephantine 64k byte RAM of the C64. Quick swig of decaf just to get things going on there.
Someone should compress the fuck out of both and uh, put them into like a single game. Although that would be really annoying if you only want to play like this, you know, Hunchback 2 apparently. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Yeah, we've got to wait up here a bit, a bit longer in it. After doing it really well, de -de 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 David Ward was involved in the uh, development of this game. He is shown in the, um, well, I don't know if it's a conference room, but um, no choice there, I can either avoid them or the birds coming towards me. I don't think they track you as such. Ooh. Maybe you can't be got at on the ropes. Ah, see? Ah, you're in trouble there. This is a fiendish one, actually. for him because he does come all the way over here so Got me. I just wanted to jump straight across. Ah, look, the little uh, flippy over business, isn't it? Everyone likes that. Ah, no! Damn it, I think that's all my life's gone. Yeah, <laughs> everyone remembers the flippy over business. Yeah, I do like Hunchback too. It's just, I think for the full price, there's not really enough levels going on there. If you think how many levels you've got on uh, 1983 Manic Miner for the C64, even though it takes 26 minutes to load, it doesn't matter. So, I think all the new stuff is on here, actually. I hope it's on here, otherwise it's on the uh, SD card that's in the camera. And that's not good. Yeah, here we go. Uh, actually, we could uh, go back here. This is the main one, even though it's only a one gig card. It's got most of the game. I need to back this up, actually. So I've got a backup of everything I've done so far. <coughs> Yeah, this one needs a hell of a lot of tidying up now, actually. Uh, 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 oh, actually, I was looking at something before. It was, uh, it's in the A directory. And I think it was K to Q, and then I can't remember what game I was looking at, so. Nah, but we're supposed to be uh, looking up, um, <coughs> early ocean games so uh yeah. back back to the 90s well the early 80s really well mid 80s early stroke mid 80s there you go boss off we're publisher 
Uh, 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 I'm parked in front of my driveway now. Good, good. I should call the Imagine one Ocean Imagine. Yeah, Armageddon. Uh, I didn't really like that. Eskimo Eddie, I think I've played both of those actually. Lily Thompson, Kong Strikes Back. Yeah. When did David Ward stop being active? Is Parallax 1986? I've played Cobra before. Why is that called Donkey Kong 2? That's got to be the ocean port of Donkey Kong. Uh, yeah, these are not complete, are they? Oh, actually. Uh, ocean must have done more in 1986. I don't know how to play short circuit. Well, I've got these called early ocean. We'll see what's in here then. I don't want alphabetical sort on there. We've done, I've done every game, I think. Yeah, I have. <coughs> Barmy Builders. I don't remember that. Uh, Frankie Plus, I don't think Frankie loads, I don't think. Kong Strikes Back score, never ending story, Rollins Rat Race. Yeah, we have done most of them. So it's possibly Barmy Builders. Yeah, I don't really like Match Day or it's a knockout. Um, I don't think I've ever played Nomad. And I won't know how to play it. <clears throat> Why isn't World, oh, World Series Baseball is uh, on the Imagine uh, Yellow Clamshells? Isn't it? <clears throat> well, going by the other games, it should be 1985. But who knows? I could have been drunk when I created these directories and disk images. Just seen a silver uh, London taxi, even though I live like 200 miles from London. London! Yeah, I was looking at cars that share the same platform as the uh, 28, late 2018 uh, Audi A1, and uh, it's very difficult to get the information you want out of Google because you have to find out the exact chassis uh, or name I suppose or code that that platform uses and work back from there but apparently it's Volkswagen that develops the chassis and then gives them to Audi and not the other way around even though Audis are more expensive than Volkswagen hmm interesting I've got any other tapes I could try loading. Uh, is it decompacting? Usually it has a little thing. Like uh, yeah, there's never any docks in there. I don't know why. You'll have to imagine the flashing lines. Oh, you've heard that. Uh, 
many times, sir. Is it actually decompacting or doing something? didn't use Galway did Imagine the music. See what I did there? Imagine the music, innit? Fork things are uh, at least you can go through stuff. Okay, so hang on, why can't I go through that bit? Here? Bit fiddly using this thing. Well, my shots go through it. Oh, it's not very good. Can't really go anywhere else, can you? After all that. No. Do you have to destroy everything? Is there something I have to shoot here? It's not really obvious. Well, you can go over it without losing energy, so... No. Ah, well, that's a bust, that is. Maybe it's a time to release. Or maybe you have to uh, touch that switch and go there quickly. I think it starts you back here again. So we'll see if it's closed now. The yeah, controls are a bit fiddly, I must admit. Assuming I have to blow them things up. It's not really Commodore standard anymore, is it? Uh, kind of. Oh crap, why am I just falling down there now? And put you right back at the start every time. That's very annoying. Feels a true arcade like uh, adventure. You know, the one where you map out all the levels in your, your little book. Notepad, whatever. Hey, whatever mate. And it is a bit annoying as well, actually. I'll just say. Oh, 
Lucky hell, that fires really fast and the controls are very iffy. So what do you think of this, guys? I mean, I think, maybe not the graphics, the animation isn't, isn't Commodore standard anymore, is it? It's not state-of-the-art. 